Hi, this is Mike from the VAO. Today I'm going to show you some of the features of the VOINF integration project. These new capabilities can be used to enhance the reduction and analysis of local data in the IRF environment. And because of the scriptability of IRF, will allow you to automate your procedures when processing large local data sets. The features shown here will be available in the new IRF 216 release and the accompanying VAO external package available for most Linux and Mac systems. In many cases, the new core capabilities described here will also serve to seamlessly VO enable other external packages as well. VORF provides several new types of capabilities for all IRAF tasks. The first is the ability for any task taking a local image, table, or ASCII file as input to now accept a URL to that same type of file. For example, to use a FITS file at some remote URL, we could use the MStatistics task as follows. In this case, we simply replace the local file name with the URL, and the task works exactly the same way. A second new ability is for tasks that require tabular data in one of the supported formats to operate equally as well on data in the standard XML format used by the VO. This is called a VO table. For example, In this case, the XML document is converted internally to a FITS binary table that the task already understands. We can combine these capabilities to access a VO table at a remote URL just as easily. URLs in the system are cached for faster access and can be used repeatedly within scripts. Because data queries are always done in the form of URLs, and the results are always in the form of VO tables, these two new abilities provide the basic building blocks with the tools needed to query for, retrieve, and utilize all the image and catalog data available in the virtual observatory from within the IRAF environment. A new registry task allows you to query for VO data services by keyword, with optional parameters to constrain results to a specific data type. For example, to search for quasars and specifically image data, we would use the registry task as follows. Quasar is our search term. Image is the type of data that we're interested in, and we wish to look at the verbose results. These are just some of the, the image services that are available from the virtual observatory that meet that search term. A new registry DB task then helps you maintain a personalized database of these VO services by defining alias for, aliases for services that are much easier to remember. For example, the column on the left is the name that I have given the service, not necessarily one that the VO recognizes. The type of service, the band pass, and a short description is also provided. Additional commands allow you to maintain this database, add, delete, and rename services as needed. Queries for data may be sent to services using this alias name, thus avoiding the need to remember a confusing syntax to address a particular service of interest. Data queries require a position on which to search. In VORF, the data access tasks will typically allow this to be an explicit RA deck position on the sky, the name of an object that will be resolved to a position, or the name of an image containing a valid world coordinate system where the footprint of the image can be used to construct the position and the size. Together with the resource name or the alias, a VO data query can be constructed for the user automatically. For example, to use VO services to resolve an object name, we can use the Sesame task to simply get coordinates, in this case for M83. To display an image of M83, if we don't have one, one can use either those coordinates or just the object name. For example, the DSS utility task can be called with just the object name. In this case, the DSS data service is accessed, the image is downloaded, and will be displayed in the XM tool window. Similarly, catalog data can be obtained for the same region from a, from a particular VO catalog. In this case, we use the getcat command 
to query the two mass point source catalog for the same field. And save the results to a named file. And in this case, we want to keep the raw VO table. Utility tasks are provided that let us manipulate that table, select rows, and in some cases extract information. Utility tasks let us extract positions from this catalog and then overlay the results. In this case, we use the VOT pause task to extract just the RA deck positions from the table. The tab overlay task can then be used to overlay those positions onto the image display. Convenient scripts are also provided that combine these steps for several useful resources automatically. For example, to find the net objects in the standard IRAF test image, we can first display the image as follows. We can then query the NED service to display what it knows about that same field. In this case, the footprint of the image is used as the basis for the query. Catalog is downloaded and the above steps are also followed to likewise overlay the display with the NED catalog search. The final new VO feature is the ability for IRF to exchange messages with other VO enabled applications using the simple applications messaging protocol developed by the virtual observatory. We'll see how this capability allows VO tools to provide desktop functionality not normally found in the IRF system or to use IRAP to enhance the, the capabilities of other tools. TopCat shown here is the VO tool for visualizing and manipulating tables of all types. From within IRAP, we can load a table to use and use it to do things with the table that are often difficult to do in IRAP directly. In this case, we'll use the M83 VO table that we downloaded earlier. We'll use the SAMP command to load the table. Once the table is loaded, we can view both the data, the column information, and use other TopCat functionality to subselect rows or to visualize the table by plotting positions or columns against each other. In this final example, we'll see how our app can receive messages from other SAMP enabled applications, in this case, a web page. We use the data discovery tool to search for additional observations of M83 that might be of interest. First, we preload the display with the field from the DSS task. In the data discovery tool, we preloaded the page with the search results for a position around M83. In this case, we've also selected the Swift, cat, the Swift observation log and the Spitzer observation log. We can use the export table command to then broadcast this table to other applications. Because it's a web application, we have to authorize the connection. And once we do, the overlay task is used to once again mark the positions on the object. We can then use other VO tools, such as the getcat command, to download that table directly um, or actually query for those images uh, that we can 
also download to, this, to our desktop. By changing the message handler, we can just as easily begin analyzing the images directly from the message passed by the web browser. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to some of the features available as part of the video IRF integration and find them useful when reducing and, reducing and analyzing your own data. If you have any questions, please contact the VAO Help Desk. Thank you.